we are moving once again so let's go pack i can't believe it's been one year since we moved to oahu my word for this year would be exciting we really took advantage of the breathtaking hikes and the beautiful landscapes almost every weekend rain or shine because we didn't know how long we were going to be here and i'm so glad that we did and i'm so grateful to have called this our home even if it was temporary if you have been following my journey you know that i've been moving around a lot from maui to portugal portugal to oahu and then we're moving one more time after this these are just the recent years but this has been a pattern in my life moving from different houses cities to even different continents good morning today is day two of our move and we slept with the mattress on the floor last night um, the bed frame is already disassembled, so it's happening. Even though we don't have a lot of stuff, there's just a lot to do, and I'm cleaning as I go, so yeah, still long ways to go, but I'm hoping that we get everything packed today, and then maybe the last day, I'm hoping that we can still enjoy Oahu for the last time, but we will see. Change is usually good. It can be difficult as you're going through it, but I see it as growing pains. It's a way to start evolving into this new version of yourself. But too much change can make it feel like everything is temporary. Should you emotionally invest in this place, meet people, buy big furniture, get involved if you know you're only gonna be there for a couple of years. To be honest, these are some of the thoughts that always run through my mind because change has been such a constant in my life. But I noticed that having this mindset disconnects me from actually living my life. It's like saying you don't want to fall in love because you don't want your heart broken. You don't want to travel because you fear getting lost. Sure, you can coast through life in that way, but that's exactly what you're doing, just coasting. And what kind of life would that be? We're gonna take the dogs to their favorite park one last time, right, Kona? Right, Lily? <laughs> it's their favorite park. And nobody's here. People in my life probably think I move around too much, including my dear husband but I actually don't mind it. It's one of my biggest dreams to not just be able to travel, but live somewhere for a while. Thankfully, I've simplified my life so that it feels easier to make these big transitions. I'm not emotionally attached to my stuff, but the thing I'm working on is being less wasteful in my tracks. So this time, we didn't completely minimize and pack up everything in five luggages, we're taking almost everything with us, and everything fit nicely into a studio-sized storage. Our couch, can opener, wine glasses, coat hangers, and all. And while these things may seem really random, they're also somehow essential in our everyday lifestyle, so I didn't want to get rid of everything just to buy them again. If living a minimalist life has taught me anything, is that it's not about how much we have or don't have. It's about being able to let go and adapt as we go through life. And although my life feels heavier now, my mind feels lighter. And maybe that's what freedom is. We made so much progress today. The house is looking empty. And someone is coming to pick up our dining table set. Stay at the house. One day I will find a place where I want to stay a bit longer. Or maybe I'm just the girl who doesn't settle in one place. But then again, aren't we all in some kind of transition in between two places? And if I may share my lessons from all the moving around, 
it's that no matter where you are in life, whatever indecision or life transition you're in, I encourage you to fully immerse yourself in your life that you have now. Wear your best clothes, eat your favorite food, tell the people you love how much you appreciate them. Things, people, circumstances will come and go, but don't let it weigh you down and adjust as you go. More importantly, don't be afraid to commit to them because this is your life that's passing right by you. Hopefully, I'll be back one day with a wider perspective and think of the days that we made our own little story here on this beautiful island. I just wanted to pop on here and let you guys know that the uploads will be a little bit sporadic since I am moving around and there's still a lot to do, a lot of cleaning up and kind of setting up this place. So we are back on Maui for now and we're here to tie up some loose ends and get some things done. Um, of course, see the family and friends and everything. And of course, we're going to be getting ready for our big move. And I don't know when that's going to be. I don't know exactly the details, so I won't tell you exactly yet, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. But for now, we're just going to enjoy this time, this in-between time. I really missed everyone here, so it definitely is nice being back home and gonna enjoy the island, enjoy this beautiful spring summertime. It's been such a journey, um, but I appreciate you guys just providing me the platform to be able to share my story. I don't think I could say that enough. Until next time, I hope you guys take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you really soon.